said early on that we're going to build our way out of the colony, and I'm just trying to figure out if this truck is going to get us where we need to go. I hope this gets us to where we can go and rebuild and not run out of food and water before we get there. Basically, I think the number one thing I learned here was that survival is an attitude. It's, it's about, you know, embracing the past and embracing your memories, but moving on and having hope and staying positive. An immersive experiment forces participants to confront challenges they don't have to deal with in their normal daily lives. And through those struggles, they learn things about themselves they may never have discovered otherwise. Truly being in this type of a situation, you sort of evolve into a family and you grow emotionally. It really has changed something in me in terms of what I thought was important and what I might plan to do the rest of my life. And it's um, something that's growing inside me and I think that's pretty cool. For some reason I felt like that I would not survive because I was a female. I am absolutely confident that I would be just fine. And I have survived, it's not, it was just the fact that I didn't need to prove it to these guys that I had to survive. It's just, I needed to prove it to myself. I don't think I've been in a tougher situation, really, uh, period. This is the toughest thing I've ever done in my life. We made the best of a bad situation. If you want it bad enough, you will do it. And we all wanted it bad enough, and that's why we, the colonists, all did it. Got the hell out of here. In the 21st century, few people have the necessary skills in order to survive a catastrophic event. A simulated disaster scenario is an invaluable way to prepare because disasters can happen at any time with no notice. Hopefully we'll never have to utilize any of these skills that we did here. It would be great if everything, we just work out whatever problems we had in the world that we wouldn't have to deal with this. If, for God forbid, this was to ever happen, we'd know where to take it to and how to deal with it.